بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين حبيب إله العالمين بالقاسم المصطفى محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد Dear respected viewers, brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته It's an honor to be amongst you discussing the holy verses of the Quran and the blessing narrations of Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam We have reached, if you have followed us the last verse of Surah Al-Hamd, Sarat al-Ladheena an'amta alayhim ghayr al-maghdubi alayhim wa al-daddeen. Oh Allah, guide me to the right path, the path of those people that you have blessed, not those who have, who have your wrath incurred your, incurred, your, incurred your wrath, nor have been astray. We discuss about Ladheena, why Allah brought examples, why Allah didn't say Sarat, and then also we discuss about an'amta and we're bringing our, who are those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed. We discuss about uh, chapter uh, 4 verse 69 where Allah says that uh, those who we have blessed are anyone who obeys Allah and his Rasul. وَمَنْ يُطِعَ اللَّهُ وَالرَّسُولَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالصِّدِّيقِينَ وَالشُّهَدَاءِ وَالصَّالِحِينَ وَحَسُنَ أُولَٰئِكَ رَفِيقًا Whoever obeys Allah and the Apostle, they are with those whom Allah have blessed, including, so people who we want to be on their path are those people who Allah have blessed. Who are those people? They are including the prophets, the truthful, the witnesses, and the righteous. And excellent companions are they. So we discuss about the prophets and then we are talking about the truthful. But before we get, continuing with the truthful, what is this na'mah that we are talking about? When was, is there a place that we talk about, Allah has mentioned na'mah? Yes. Chapter 5, verse 3. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الْيَوْمَ أَكْمَلْتُ لَكُمْ دِينَكُمْ وَأَتْمَمْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ نِعْمَتِي Today, I have perfected your religion for you and I have completed my blessing upon you. What is this complete blessing? Nothing but the religion of Islam taking to be completed by the wilaya and guardianship of the commander of the faithful, Amir al-Mu'mineen, Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of Ghadir, both Shia and non-Shia agree that this verse revealed to the Holy Prophet on the day of Ghadir after he appointed the commander of the faithful, Amir al mumini Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, as his vicegerent, and as his successor, as his khalifa, when this was done, Allah says that today I have perfected your religion and today I have completed my blessing, a blessing upon you. So what is this blessing? that Allah has blessed us with and those four people is the guardianship of wilaya and the wilaya of Amir al-Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. There's a lot of discussion to this. We want to go back to our Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhada and Salihin. So we say Siddiqeen are those people who are truthful internally and out. Their action matches and syncs completely and 100% with their belief and their belief completely syncs and matches their action. We believe, we see unfortunately some people say, Oh Sheikh, I don't have to wear hijab. Oh Sheikh, I don't have to pray. Oh Sheikh, I don't have to practice all of our furu' ad deen and all of our wajibat. It's not about the action that much, it's about your internal belief, internal intention. You should love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should be pure internally. The physical body doesn't have that much value. We read within the Holy Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wal-asr by dawn, inna al-insana lafi khus, that indeed man is at last, except illa al-ladheena amanu, so believe is the first part, wa-amilu salihat, it both, both has to come, they both have to come together, believe and action, they both have to sync, they both have to match one another for us to be among saddiqeen, not that I do something outward, in front of people, but internally, I'm completely the opposite. How do, how will I know this? When I go home at the end of the night, when I calculate my own deeds, that we are really recommended on a daily basis, hourly pace, basis, for us to calculate our own deeds. Let me see how much good deeds I gained and how much, 
I, sin I gained and I lost from my good deeds. Which, let me put these two actions, two uh, action of minds on a scale to see which one is more heavier, my good deeds or my bad deeds. So at the end, I will be able to judge myself. And Amir al muminin the commander of the faithful, Ali ibn Abi Talib has said, Judge yourself, calculate your own deeds, challenge yourself to see before you are judged on the day of Qiyamah. Put it on the scale, see which one is heavier, the good deeds or the bad deeds. Are you truthful in action and belief, both of them together? Or you just do something out externally in front of a people, but when you are by yourself, you are not who you say who you are. So that's Sadiqin. Again, we can discuss more about it, but we try trying to be brief and giving you hints and clues and ideas for you to keep researching and reading and analyzing and diagnosing your personality to see where do we fit. What shuhada? Who are these witnesses? Shuhada, some people have translated as the martyrs. Shuhada, shaheed, the one who fights uh, defending the religion of Islam, defending the properties and the land of Muslims. But shuhada in here doesn't mean, doesn't translate to martyrs. Rather, rather, it translates into the witnesses. And they are not martyrs, they are the witnesses, shaheed, witness. When you, where we get this translation? Chapter 16, verse 8, 89. نَبْعَثُ فِي كُلُّ أُمَّةٍ شَهِيدًا عَلَيْهِمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ وَجِئْنَا بِكَ شَهِيدًا عَلَى هَؤُلَاءِ Allah is addressing the Holy Prophet where he says, the day we raise in every nation a witness against them from amongst themselves. We shall bring you, O Holy Prophet, as a witness against all of the witnesses. So for example, the nation of Prophet Musa, the witness is Prophet Musa. The nation of Prophet Isa, the witness of Prophet Isa. Every Imam of our time, during the time of Imam Hassan al-Mushtaba, he's the witness. The time of Imam Hussein, every Imam is witness of his people, of his time, of the Imam. Rasulullah becomes the witness above all of these witnesses. Those who are killed for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, they're not called shaheed within the text of Quran and the words of Quran. Rather, they are who have been killed by the sake of Allah. So that's a witness. So we believe that every action of ours, everything that we do, as present, Allah sees it, Rasulullah sees it, and the Imam of our time, Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance, he sees it. And these two angels also, they are witnessing. Again, we can discuss mm, a lot about this. About the witness and what we need to do, how careful we have to be. A lot of action plans can be driven. One thing uh, that, actually one good action plan, let's uh, mention it. The time goes very fast. It's that everything we do, let me think. One second, before everything I, I do. This act of mine is presented to Allah, Rasulullah. Imam Mahdi Ajrallah Ta'ala Farj Sharif. Am I not going to be embarrassed if I did this ask this task? If I did it, I shouldn't do it. That gives us a good tools, good equipment to fight our e ego, to fight our internal shaitan that deviate us to the right path, to the wrong path. So we have to be very careful. If this act of mine is presented to Rasulullah, am I happy with this act of mine or am I going to be embarrassed and my head is going to be low and I don't know what to say? Everything that we do is presented to them. So let us remind ourselves on a daily basis. Allah sees, Rasulullah sees, the Imam of our time sees, and the angels see what we do. So who are these righteous people? Who are uh, those who have inner and outer righteousness that we have Siddiqeen? Who are these Siddiqeen? None but Ahlul Bayt where Allah has purified them, where we read chapter 33, verse 33. Indeed, Allah desires to repel all impurity from you, O people of the household, and purify you with a, through, uh, with a thorough purification. These are Siddiqeen, Ahlul Bayt that are the path. So they are the right path. 
have, do we see any, anyone within the history that was able to attain that highest level and to be very close to Ahl Bayt salam, or we have also people say, Imam said that he is from us. Yes, we do have examples. We have Salman minna Ahl al Bayt. Salman al Muhammadi. Some people say Salman al Farsi. Imam Sadiq alayhi salam has said, say Salman al Muhammadi. And the Imams of Ahl Bayt salam, and Rasulullah said, he is from us. He is not, he wasn't, he's not infallible, but he wanted, if we want, if we place the goal, that we want to become like Salman, to get closer to Ahl Bayt salam, and we fight our inner shaitan and our shaitan, we can achieve it, inshallah, it is possible. Other people have done it, we can do it also. So, Sarat al ladina an'amta alayhim, we discussed. Oh Allah, we want to be on the path of those people who have bestowed your mercy, you have bestowed your mercy, mercy upon them. Who are those people? Prophets, Siddiqeen, Shuhada, and uh, we have Salihin and the righteous. So we talked about the prophets, Siddiqeen, the truthful, and the witnesses, and the Salihin, the righteous, which we say they are Ahlul Bayt alayhum salam. We continue, غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا ضَالِّينَ We don't want to be from those people who are, uh, who have your wrath upon them, nor are astray. So there are three groups of people. Number one, those who are on the right path. Number two, those who have, so they saw the right path and they followed it. Sarat al ladina and amta alayhim. One sarat, they found it, they saw it, Allah showed them and they followed it. The second group are those people who see the path, who have been educated and informed with the right path, but unfortunately they go 180 degrees opposite, stubbornly, they go the opposite to the right path. They have been introduced, they are aware of the right path, they know what is right and what is wrong. They have been, sh they have been shown the clear signs, but they deny. They stubbornly deny. Read about them uh, in the holy verses of, uh, within the holy verses of the Quran where Allah says, فَلَمَّا جَاءَتْهُمْ آيَاتُنَا مُبْصِرَةٌ, مبصرة قَالُوا هَذَا سِحْرٌ مُبِينٌ But when our signs came to them, as eye-openers, they said, this is plain magic. Are we amongst those people or not? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not only showing signs to some group of people and not showing signs to other group of people. Allah will show His signs, the signs of the truth, the signs of the right path to everybody. It's up to us to follow it or not. This is the free will that we have. Are we going to walk on this right path or are we stubbornly going to reject it even though after we have seen clear signs and eye-opener signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we reject. What do I mean? Let me a little bit elaborate. Some people attend many majalises. They listen to many lectures. They read books. Clear, for example, I come to the sisters and then I come to the brothers also. They have been given clear ideas, suggest, I mean, proofs from the holy verses of Quran, from the narrations of Ahlul Bayt salam, about the importance of hijab. Hijab, 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 hijab. They have been given. The signs have been given. The proofs have been given. The concept is very vivid, clear. There's nothing uh, confusing about it. Nothing uh, confused about it, but they reject because of their personal uh, preferences or they have their own excuses why I prefer, prefer not to wear hijab. Allah has shown. Brothers, don't do this haram. For example, music is haram, looking at the opposite gender with lust and desire is haram and anything that is haram that we have. Many reasons has, have been given. Salah on time, brothers and sisters, khums, zakat, hajj, everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us. The reasons and the explanation is all out there. If we want to, if we want to find the truth within them, we can find it. Brother, why do you delay your salah? Why don't you pray? Shaykh, salah, this day and age, I'm at work, at school, excuses. I cannot pray on time. I come home at the end of the night, I pray all my prayers together. Well, Allah says, after we have shown them our signs, 
Allah says, وَجَحَدُوا بِحَا وَاسْتَيْقَنَتْحَا أَنفُسَهُمْ أَنفُسُهُمْ ظُلْمًا وَعُلُوًا فَانْظُرُوا كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الْمُفْسِدِينَ And they denied them. What, what did they deny? They denied the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which was an eye-opener signs. They, and they denied them unjustly and proudly while their soul had been convinced of them. Consider, then how was the end of this mischief makers? They see the signs. Allah shows us the sign. We cannot just sit and discuss about other people. Oh, those people were deviated after the time of the Prophet, after Rasulullah departed this world. People were de deviated. They didn't follow the path of Ahlul Bayt They didn't hold on to the path of Ahlul Bayt Well, are we holding on to the path of Ahlul Bayt Are we truthful to them? Are we applying their teachings after we have been educated and we have been lectured, we have attended seminars, we have attended conferences, we have read books? Do we have any excuse? Am I on the path of those people who Allah has bestowed His mercy? Or am I on the path of those people who, Allah, who, Allah, who have Allah's wrath? So, action plan before we conclude. Action plan will be everything that I get to, I, I, get, I hear from the wajibat and muharramat. Things that are obligatory acts and those these acts that, are, that I need to uh, not participate and I need to abstain myself away abstain myself let me find as soon as I read the reasons and why it's wajib that I need to do it and why it's haram I should not do it I see the signs my shaitan says no I say I will if I see the signs which Allah will show everybody the signs everybody not one sign not five signs not ten signs not hundred signs Hundreds and hundreds and thousands of signs Allah will show us for us to be on the right path. For us to be holding to the path of Ahl Bayt Allah will educate us. Allah will inform us. But if I decide my ego and my internal shaitan is stronger and the shaitan outside, I have listened to him so much that they are stronger. They deviate me and I make decision to go 180 degrees away from the religion. Well, I, I will have Allah's wrath upon me. There's a little bit more left to this discussion, inshallah. We will leave it to the next episode. We'll conclude our episode by reciting Dua Al-Faraj, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to hasten the appearance of our beloved Imam Ma Mahdi, Adullah ta'ala, Faraj al-Sharif. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma kun li wadiyika al-Hujjat ibn al-Hassan. Salawatuka alayhi wa ala abaih fi hadhihi sa'ata wa fi kulli sa'ah. Waliyan wa hafidha wa qa'idan wa nasara wa dalilan wa ayna. Hatta tuskinahu wa ardaka taw'a wa tamatta'ahu fi haa tawila. Bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahameen.